Let's get into it. I do not have all of the copies here yet because I order a lot of the books that I like from the States and I also just started a book of the month subscription, but because I do live in Germany, the books have to be rerouted through friends and family and so it takes them a little while. So I don't have all of the copies and all of the things I want to read just yet, but I don't even know if I'm going to be able to finish them all. So let's see. But the first book I would like to read in April is The Marrow Thieves. And this is actually a story graph suggestion. So for those of you who do not know, I am not in Goodreads anymore. I am on The Story Graph, which is basically a new book tracking app website. Their, I think their suggestions are supposed to be a little better than Goodreads suggestions, so this was one of the story graph suggestions, and it sounded really good, so I wanted to check it out. From what I understand, The Marrow Thieves is about a more dystopian society, so something happened, and now most people are not able to dream anymore, except for indigenous populations throughout America that are still able to dream, and there are now marrow thieves, so people who try, who steal basically Native Americans, indigenous peoples, and steal their bone marrow in order to help other people dream again. And it sounds like a great idea, and I am super excited for this book. It is not very long. I did, was not expecting that, but just look at this. Look at this book. I mean, isn't that, isn't this gorgeous? I just, I love this. So I'm very excited to read it. We'll see what happens. So the next book that I am currently reading actually, but also want to work through in April is Me and White Supremacy. I don't, <laughs> the jacket is, <laughs> is, in, is in the bedroom and I don't feel like getting it. So you're, you're just seeing this. This is a workbook for white people or white passing people to work through their white privilege and their relationship with white supremacy. Really good so far. It has journaling prompts every day to reflect on your relationship with these things, so that is what I'm going through currently. The next book that is on my TBR is Concrete Rose by Angie Thomas. Angie Thomas is the author of The Hate You Give, and I read The Hate You Give, I love The Hate You Give, and I am not a big young adult reader, so I was actually kind of scared of reading The Hate You Give and not liking it because I think that would have been pretty bad. It did not feel very YA, so I really enjoyed The Hate You Give. And this is a prequel to the book, so I think this is about her father. Yeah, it'll be interesting to read this because Star is the main character in The Hate You Give, and her father is someone who used to be in a gang and then stopped or got out somehow. I will find out more in this book. So this is about him and I'm very interested in it and I think it'll be a good read. The next book that I would like to start reading again at least is An Indigenous People History of the United States. I picked this up the last time I was in the States, which was of course 2019, <laughs> and I didn't get very far. So I only got to page 44 and I just want to make a conscious effort of reading this book, of actually going through it because I do have indigenous roots and I think it's important to understand what that means because there's a lot of things in my family that I kind of don't understand and I have a feeling if I know a little bit more about the history of the states and an indigenous people history that I think there's a lot of things that I will understand all of a sudden. So I want to make a conscious effort in reading this. However, I'm not good with nonfiction. I prefer to listen to nonfiction, but I could not find an audiobook of this. I just have to make a conscious effort to read some of this every single day and we'll see how far I get. If I don't finish it in April, that's cool. <laughs> I just want to actually start reading it again. The next book on my list is Grown by Tiffany D. Jackson. I've just heard so many good things about this book and I've also always loved this cover. I mean, look at this. Look at this cool cover. And I saw it in a video and I was like, oh my God, that looks so cool. <laughs> Did I buy this just because of the cover? Maybe. But the story also sounds very good. Um, I forget the names of the characters because I read the synopsis a few days ago, but um, there is, it's probably in here, Enchanted Jones. So it's about a woman, a girl, who wants to be a singer, and she wakes up with blood in her hands, and the person that was trying to mentor her, already a famous singer, is dead, and it looks like she did it. 
and then that's all I know. But it sounds like a really good idea. It sounds like a really great idea actually and it'll be very interesting to read this book. I'm very excited. There's nothing else I can say about this. So the other two books that have not arrived yet, they're probably coming mid-April, is What's Mine and Yours by Nema Koster. So this was the book of the month pick for March. And like I said, it takes a while, so the March reads are probably going to become my April reads and my April picks are probably going to become my May books. <laughs> it just takes a while. I, I can't remember what the synopsis was on this and I didn't reread it now, but it sounded interesting and it was their contemporary fiction pick. And since I am more of a contemporary fiction person, it sounded a lot like something that I would like. So I picked that, but I forgot what it's supposed to be about. The other book is The Invisible Life of Addie Laurie, and that is by Victoria Schwab, and it sounds super interesting. Uh, so this story, I actually heard about this in a video by I think Noelle Gallagher, and she, uh, she mentioned this book and evidently Addie Laurie has like some pact with the devil I guess and she makes a super good first impression and people love her but they forget her right after they talk to her or when she leaves their sight that's why the invisible life and that sounds like such a good idea so I had to get it right away so I have that on my list here also as a TBR for April. So all in all it's not as many books as last month for some reason I was on steroids last month who knows. So one, two, three, four, five six, seven books. I don't necessarily expect to finish the nonfiction, so I don't necessarily expect to finish this because I just need more time to read that. And with me and white supremacy, I also want to take my time while doing the journaling bits. So sometimes I can't do it every day. Sometimes I'm just not in the right space, headspace for it every day. So we'll see how far I get with those. I just try not to pressure myself with nonfiction. I think it's super important to read nonfiction and I want to learn more obviously, but doing a degree and reading nonfiction on the side is just very difficult and I have to give myself a break and not stress myself. So those are the TBRs. I don't know, what are you planning on reading next? Please let me know in the comments. I am always looking for book suggestions. Let me know what you're reading and we will talk soon.